Uh, welcome back anyone who might be watching this after the fact for there are no viewers right now. Today I'm drawing tokens. I'm working on a bunch of monster tokens. And uh, this is the first time I've used Leonardo on this PC besides the actual first time which was last night. But I'm still getting used to it and I've got a little hack to get the drawing right but uh, to get the zoom right. But I have to fiddle and make sure my line width is kind of consistent because I want all these to look similar, like a part of a set. And off to my left, I have a bunch of sketches I've made. Unfortunately, I can't show you, but uh, that's what I'm going to be working off today. So these here. Uh, faded form like a, like a mannequin. Um, <clears throat> they're what I use to get the scale consistent. And yeah, I'm just going to jump right in and see what comes to mind to talk about. And I think I'm going to have to fiddle with this pen a great deal. But yeah, this is this is my first stream in the vein of me just doing my daily work and allowing you guys to tune in if you have nothing nothing else you prefer to be listening to. So welcome viewer number one. I have no way of knowing who you are. I kind of feel like it's a certain Michael. But I gotta talk less and draw more, so let's see. Uh, what I'm drawing now shall become apparent soon enough. Just building off the sketch I have off to my left and seeing what comes of it. So the first, my process usually is just to throw some lines down as quick as I can to get shapes out and then I'm going to ruthlessly erase those lines and edit those lines later. But I'm trying not to get caught up in getting the lines just right. I say as I struggle with this one line. Here we have a fishtail on the back side. Um, these two sides are big brawny shoulders. And let's dive straight into the head. What I'm drawing is a hammerhead shark flavored Swahwagwin. How is that pronounced? I've typed it a million times, never pronounced it. I think I'll just say Fishman instead. How's that? Let's just get the shape right. And then I can cheat a little here. That is not the button I was going for. Oh, golly. Okay. Uh, how do I use this app? What's the rotate key? Because it ain't control R. Is it control T to transform? Yeah, it looks that way. Oof, now I've jumped off his shoulder. At the very least, I have got a keyboard this time to play with, make things a bit smoother. Oh, he's got extra brawn compared to my sketch. I usually draw these on my surface as well, which gives me the ability to rotate the canvas, which makes things, makes things super simple, but I don't have that advantage today. Let's see, would a hammerhead man have claws or fists? I think, I think let's throw a fist on, let's see if we change our mind later. Oh, 
I'm worried if I explain how I draw these tokens, then it's going to become abundantly clear how simple they are and how much I'm kind of cheating perspective. And then nobody will like them anymore. But essentially, I draw this torso region with shoulders attached. And then uh, the kind of bicep is usually, though not always, hidden by the shoulder. And then we have the forearm sticking out, kind of um, uh, foreshortening happening on the forearm. And then we have whatever hand I decide to stick on them. But that's the elements of the arm. So it's big shoulder, sometimes bicep. Like we could throw a big old bicep in there if we wanted. And then a forearm and then a hand. Sometimes I draw the elbow in for no real reason except that it adds a little something to the lines. The shape of his head is kind of squonk, isn't it? Now, do I have a shortcut for the eraser on this pen? What happens if I press that? What happens if I press this? I have this tablet set up for Photoshop and all the shortcuts are different. So I think we're going to be manually selecting the eraser today. Maybe I'll set up streaming on my other laptops at some point. I think there's usually a little bump on like the nose ridge. But I'm jumping the gun here. I shouldn't be finessing the lines just yet. I should be getting the legs down. What if what if I don't like the legs and I have to scrap the whole thing? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, I like the leg in my sketch, so I'm just going to copy that. It's going to be one old, one big old thigh sticking out like that. Bigger. How's that? I think he's pretty much good. Eyeballs just look creepy, so let's not do that. Uh, do we need more muscles? Like, yeah, that looks cool. Uh, and the reason I keep... Oh, don't use that shortcut. The reason I keep all of my previous tokens here are so that I can keep them all side by side and make sure that the line thickness and everything, kind of the scale, are all consistent. So really the steps are, I get my, uh, my mannequin. I'm going to draw over that, the general shape that I'm feeling. Then I'm going to ruthlessly edit these lines into shapes that I like. And in doing so, the next step too, which is basically adding extra weight to portions of this image. Because we use our dwarf friend here as an example, I like to mix up thin lines and thick lines just for a sense of balance. Or this guy's a good example. We've got a thick belt line, kind of wherever shadows cast, it's a big thick line. And then if we want to add sparing detail, I'll use very thin lines there. But this is a big smooth skin shock dude, so he's going to be much more. I guess we're going to have to use quite a few thick lines just so he's got some weight to him. Hey, Trollox. Yeah, these monster tokens that I've been intending to work on, and this is kind of the first one I've started drawing. These are going to go into that same character builder. So you'll be able to change the color. I'll probably put like a stripe down the middle so you can change that stripe. Maybe some war paint or something cool. But these are going the same 
token builder and you can export to PNG and throw them right into Roll20 or print them out or whatever you like. I've timed myself before when I was drawing these other ones and this line art stage just due to how much I fuss over it usually takes me like 40 minutes per token. So I apologize in advance if this is a rather repetitive kind of stream, but I thought I have the bandwidth now and I've got a nice microphone laying around. Uh, why not stream? And whoever wants to watch can watch and whoever doesn't want to watch can browse somewhere else. So no harm done. Plus it keeps me from getting distracted with YouTube videos or things like that. Perhaps it would be a, a good habit for me to get to the good enough stage with each token and then move on to the next and then later I'll come back and see what stands out as odd on the ones I've drawn before. I feel like, what is this, this, this whole shoulder region here? Just looks a little odd. You know, maybe you should have gills. What do I think of that? I suppose his gills would be here, right? Like that. But it's a fantastical creature. I guess I can throw these anywhere I feel like. There you go. That gives a little bit of interest because these big blank spaces got to be careful with maybe like a shiny uh, got to be careful with I mean got to be careful not leaving too much blank space otherwise it's not it looks like a different style compared to the rest of them <coughs> but uh yeah and I'm thinking when I get around to painting him I'll put some spots here or nothing like that horrendous mess I just drew but a stripe or some wall paint something interesting like that hey Alex I'm based in Perth or a little south of Perth anyway so it's a nice warm 2:40 p.m. right now and I'm gonna draw until about 3 30 today and I'm meeting my brother, we're going to see Detective Pikachu. I don't have high hopes for it, but it's a, it's a nice, nice reason to get out of the house, hang out with the bro. And yeah, Peter, I'm looking forward to drawing Undead. I think that might be the next pack after this one, because uh, I, uh, I'm a big fan of undead. I use too many undead in my games. And they're just a lot of fun to draw. Oh, painful. Yeah, undead are a lot of fun to draw. Let's get a nice crescent shape in there. Hey, I like the scar idea, yeah. The question is always, is this detail, <clears throat> uh, should I put the detail on color only or should I draw it on? Especially if I do color only, then there's the option for no scar. But you know, we've got all this blank space. How about there, like, well, let's turn it into a claw mark. Hmm, I like that. Now what do hammerhead eyes look like? They're kind of on the side, aren't they? That looks pretty good. I almost drew a nose on him, but it's a shark for goodness sake. What do you think? I'd be interested to know where all of you are from. Um, I'm not sure if it's it's pretty late in America, that's for sure. I know uh, most of the people who visit my website are from America, but as for YouTube, I have no idea.
What a shark. What does the theoretical foot of a shark look like? Well, we'll never find out with him because uh, I imagine if his hips were here, his legs kind of going here, staying underneath him. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to put that idea to the test where I'll come back and edit this guy later. But I got the, I got the shape down. I got the, uh, I got the shapes good enough. I hate that whenever you see me draw a random line like that, it's because that's my panning shortcut in Photoshop. And I'm trying to pan here too. I'll have to set that up later. Okay, which one of these do I want to draw? I'm looking at my my notes off to the side, my sketches. I've got a hermit crab. Hmm, I kind of like this one. Yeah, okay. Let's start with a merciless sketch. Go for a big shell here. It's gonna foreshorten over here and then it's gonna lengthen again. Maybe just one cap out in a strange tail. Go put some flippers here. A little detached head here with some mandibles. Mm. And then I suppose we'll put. I don't know what I'm drawing. I've just, uh, I just know vaguely what it's supposed to look like. Some teeny little shoulders type deals. Oh boy. Okay, now I understand. I actually made these sketches a few weeks ago and only now am I getting around to them. So it's kind of like looking at somebody else's sketches and trying to make sense of them. Little backwards uh, elbows. And then they're going to come out into praying mantis claws. Yeah. With little thingos. Should this one go this way or this way? Inwards. And the question here is where shall I put the legs? Probably just a little, not at all like that. Oof, that's too much. Um, can I use my keyboard to move around? No. Can I use this? No. Well, I guess we're not zooming in too much today. Okay, so let's figure out the legs. I'm imagining they attach here on the body, on the other, on the hidden side. And they're gonna come up and down like that. So we're pretty much just gonna see these bits poking out. I wonder if that's too little information. There's some terror in the deeps with three claws scratching up all these tokens. Perhaps you need some algae on him. I like that idea. Like, oh, give me a second. <laughs> I 
Oh, thanks, Artemis. There's, there's, a, there's the painting shortcut. Hold space. There's some underwater moss. Is that algae? I suppose it is. Or does algae only grow on the surface? Beats me. It's it's uh, plant life. That's vague enough. Do we need more of it? Uh, you know, I can always put another layer of it in in color. So in color, I'll put more like here. And then it'll transition from this blocked in heavy set algae down to kind of just a stain on the shell. And uh, yeah, we'll come back to you, fella, later on. I'm not feeling good about your legs. We'll see what we can do about those later. Hmm, what's the time? Let's do it. 40 minutes or so. Cool. Yeah, put the legs coming out the back. Out here. Kind of imagining a crab creature. I should uh, make a habit of using reference images, but my current streaming setup, this monitor I'm drawing on, is connected to my secondary graphics card, which means my streaming platform can't just project the entire monitor, it can only project the window that I'm working in. So if I drag anything else onto this monitor, reference images and stuff, you won't be able to see it anyway. It'll be just for me. Uh, so in short, I'm just, just going to use this window and then I'll figure out the graphics cards later. Um, 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 um. Let's do this fish man. I'll start just with this vague head shape. So this will be his chin. But he's going to have a big jaw, not quite that high, but up here, kind of, but more smiley. He needs to smile more. Lighten up, dude. You're a shark man. Or will this be an actual Swahuaguin? nose but I am gonna put teeth on him let's do those a bit bigger because I want the center and to have two front teeth not just one front tooth So as you can all see, I'm playing fast and loose with the perspective here. I'll call it a shifted perspective. Uh, like this, this fellow here on the left, it's obviously not top down, otherwise you'd see his head and his shoulders and with like two feet sticking out. A little more complex than that. But instead, it's kind of like the camera's not quite top down, but kind of almost here. But even so, not quite there. Uh, it's more, I don't know, it's, it's pretty much wherever I feel like putting it. Uh, my, my style varies between tokens, but like this guy's, this guy here is more top down than this guy here. But you know, they, they, they kind of play well together anyway. So, I don't stress about the perspective. Um, like, even from the start, I picked the name Two Minute Tabletop because it kind of describes a, a cheap, quick style. For anyone outside of Australia, we call our instant noodles Two Minute Noodles here. Or at least in my corner of Australia. And that's where the Two Minute Tabletop name came from. 
because you know the idea is that you can prepare a DD encounter in two minutes instead of using a microwave you use a printer uh, let's let's call it quits on his jaw I'm spending a bit too much time there you can see how these would take me 40 minutes each uh, so this guy needs let's move this down a bit because I'm going to do the shoulders next and I want to make use of my um, my my mannequin background layer so this guy's going to be a bit narrower than the hammerhead fella and I, I like this ridge on his back that's pretty cool because there's going to be like a ridge running all the way down and like that that'll probably only come out when I shade the thing but it's a start for now just uh, theorizing I think I'm going to put gills on him okay keep it super ross that's good that's that gives a good 3d shape to it doesn't it this guy maybe this guy will be the three clawed terror um, and we'll keep his back nice and clean. Do I want like a shine? Nah, let's, let's come back later for that. Let's think about the eyes next. Now for all these eyes, I pretty much just block something vague in, get the eraser and add like a brow line and some cheeks and stuff like that and just kind of play around until it looks right maybe maybe you should have the big creepy fish eyes though Let's see what that feels like oh oh have I gone too far is that too creepy Oh my goodness. Oh, I hate it. Yikes. Yeah, we'll have to keep that. Do I want like a Sufuagwin? I keep saying that word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Do I want fins on his cheeks? Let's save that idea for later. And for now, we'll figure out his shoulders. Uh, well. just going to draw one side and see if I can no, that'll be too much too too far backwards maybe does he run like Naruto is that yeah no 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 definitely not how about some big like arms out to the side Well, I guess the bicep kind of come in here. Put the hint of a bicep in there. Or just completely hide it behind the shoulder. And just do, yeah, let's leave it like that for now. And then we'll put his three claws. Of terror in here. Ew. Let me give this some thought. Good enough now, isn't it? And of course, he's leaning forward quite heavily, so it looks like we're not going to be drawing any hips or legs yet again. Let's just go full on sumo stance, but kind of off center. I don't want him to be perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> Shark Dad, that rings a bell, but I, uh, I haven't looked at cyanide and happiness in a long time. 
And then, oh, we had to decide what shark feet look like. Now I'm thinking just three more claws of death. Like that. Hmm. Of course, we can't forget. Oh, we can't forget its fin, can we? Come back for that foot later. Now, if we're going to kind of steer away from a symmetrical shark man. Where shall we put, what shall we do with this arm? Oh, it got chopped off. That's convenient. Now I don't have to draw it. No, no, no. Um, kind of drawing a blank. See, itching his back. No. If I were to draw weapons uh, on my token layer, I'd just give him a, like a trident or something here. And he could be holding it right about there. But even that looks a bit odd. I think he's going to have to be mostly symmetrical. You know, shark man, shark dad, we'll come back for your hands when I figure out the, the zoom in key. But here's your shovel hand for now. Enjoy. Let's figure out your fin. What is, how does a shark fin kind of go? Is he a shark man or is he a creepy fish eyed man? Could be more like an angler fish. Oh gosh, I'll undo that. Um, uh, like uh, just okay. We, what we can do, we can have the fin lean this way and his tail lean this way, and that'll kind of balance him out. Crab claw, that would be interesting. Hmm. What are Suhuaguin canonically? Are they, they're not like a, a mutated mess of parts. They're, um, do they have like a consistent look to them? Control plus plus. Hmm. I'm actually using Leonardo um, a sketching app today, so I'm not sure. Oh look, I can press plus and minus. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that is similar enough. I suppose everyone benefits if they just copy shortcuts from Photoshop. So let me redo this terrible hand here. And I also, I want to get rid of this preview. That's kind of distracting. Maybe this one will be a fist, just to differentiate. And so that um, when my token editor has the functionality, you can stick a, a weapon in this hand. Yeah, this is his, this is his weapon holding hand. Okay, I'm going to leave that be for now. Ugh, I can't keep looking at his face. It's too much. But let's do quite a vertical shark tail here. Oh look, it's that crab claw you asked for. Turns out I can't draw tails.
You know, I think the problem is that that swoops up too much. Should pretty much just end there. Okay, we'll come back to you later, sir. Yeah, I definitely, definitely won't be titling this one how to guide when uh, I'm the one learning how to use the app. Uh, what do we want to do next? Maybe we should Google Sohuaguin and also how to pronounce it. Let me um, dive over onto my other monitor where you can't see what I'm doing. If I remember right, DND Beyond has a pronunciation. And I'll, I'll even turn on my desktop audio so you can hear that. Oh, does it have pronunciation? Maybe not. Ah, it does. Okay, everyone, listen in. So who again? Wow, I've been saying that wrong. So who again? So who again? Interesting. It also has kind of the canonical picture of one. Maybe we'll draw that next. Uh, enough frenzied shark men for now. We'll draw a Sahuagin instead. Just fiddle with my display. Cool beans. Okay, I'm noticing he's got a small head. So let's keep the head human sized. And they are quite an upright creature, not nearly as hunchbacked as these shark men. So. We're gonna kind of follow along. You know what? Let's let's just dive in and wing it. Just let's explore the shapes. It's kind of a jaw. Um, got like a gaping maw. Should I just copy this in so you guys can see what I'm looking at? Let me do that. Don't copy. Don't copyright strike me, dudes. over here. Is that big enough? Okay. Come back there. So it's this this mouth over his. Is it gonna look oh I did kinda like that look. We can get this curve here, right? Then we can go for the old shark teeth cartoon look. Poor fella, not symmetrical at all. And two beady little eyes, kind of off to the side like this. He has to look angrier since he's a bad guy. Uh, now the shoulders, very, very humanoid with a bit of a hunch, isn't he? So let's <laughs> well, let's make sure we're drawing on the, s the same layer first. How do I do that in Leonardo? Merge down. Yeah, cool. Yeah, Alex, that's the idea. Kind of sticking to an ocean theme recently so that Everyone who's uh, going to be playing Ghosts of Saltmarsh soon will have plenty of content. So we've done a shipbuilding pack and an ocean texture pack and ocean assets pack. Now I'm doing like an ocean monsters pack. Okay, fellow, I'm going to draw kind of your head in here. We're going to come back for your fin later, okay? 
But for now, we're just figuring out your shoulders. Should, should we wing in a more dynamic pose? Okay, we're going to do that. Taking away the guidelines. And I'm going for something ballsy. This looks more like an eel man than a fish man. I think I've, I've done the, the hunch. See, I'm throwing this guy off center much more than I could if I were following that guide. Downside is you're going to see me uh, fussing a lot with um, getting the perspective decent. Got kind of, kind of. I feel like he's got lean shoulders under those shells. Should we draw the shells on? Do we want to just go full official artwork? Maybe one. Hmm. Maybe we should do like a one of these scallop scallop shells. That'd be. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. That'd be kind of cute. It won't look nearly as fierce, but it'll be worth it. You know, I'm going to put the texture in, in the color layer. I need a reference images for these shelves. What do I uh, a plain shell? Okay, yeah, I've completely messed that up. So the, the, this this area of the clam shell is quite different to what I drew. And in fact, there's more of a triangle shape on the top, like that, and then two wings coming off like this. Okay, but remember I'm just drafting at this stage. I'm feeling like his arm's going to come out quite far to the side. The fist here, because his eventual harpoon is going to go here. But we'll see how I feel about that later, because this shoulder's bugging me. Looks uh, a bit more than a bit broken. Maybe up here. Very human torso but also kind of lean. So we're just going to draw kind of the uh, the uh, b -b -b diaphragm. Diaphragm line. And then I'm going to draw in kind of the uh, midsection. This is kind of his, where his belt would be. Well, I guess he's got a belt. Look at his, um, look at his, this loincloth. That's pretty advanced. Have I been running Sir Hurgen wrong? Have I been running them as wrong as I've been pronouncing them? Well, we can do like a a uh, kilt kind of situation. Not a kilt at all, is it? It's like a tunic bottom. Hmm. Let's just do a general Google search, see what other... Uh, what other styles these guys have been drawn in. I see lots without pants. I see one with... with uh, that's, that one's cool. Got some little 42 happening. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, I think I'm going to go for more primitive loincloth kind of look. Poor shark, man. You guys don't get loincloths, but how about, how about this? With a, with a belt. Yeah, so it's kind of tied up uh, under his groin uh, with a flappy bit on the front. And then he'll have a leg coming out here. And this leg kind of like that. Yeah, let's give him big knee shapes. And then I'm just feeling out. Uh, if you want to learn how to draw anatomy, then you've come to the wrong place. There's plenty of other better guides on the internet. My method is basically to break all the rules of perspective and just keep trying things until it looks right. Why? Does that work? No. How are we going for time? 3.13. Uh, am I more of a Maggie or Mi Goreng tuna noodle guy? That's a good question. I've never really paid attention to the brand. I ate a lot in 2014 when I was traveling on a very strict budget. But since then, I've I've not really touched them, and yeah, I've, uh, pretty much all memory of the branding has lapsed from my memory. Should we come back to this guy's leg? Let's just put a placeholder in for now. What shall we do with his arm too? Shall it come out like this? No, uh, that looks way too uh, like he wants to fight you in a dark alley. Shall it come back here to hold the trident? That's a pretty dramatic pose. Shall it end in a big crab claw? that uh, drawn differently, maybe. Well, we could bring a crab claw out like this. Except we were going for classic Sahuagin here, weren't we? So throwing a crab, crab claw on now is kind of defeating the point. Uh, speaking of which, let's throw some fins on his face. Thinking here. Now, as you can see, I was thinking about putting these lines in, but I think that that's going overboard on detail. I think this level of detail is just right. It's kind of the game that I'm constantly playing is deciding how much detail is enough, how much is too much. And I also want to give his face a more interesting shape. At this point, I'm kind of branching away from the reference image, so I want to do my own thing a bit. Like, uh, that needs to be further up. Yeah, that'll do now. That'll do four now. And here's his forehead frill. Depends if I want to go for mohawk. Well, let's get rid of these first. Do we want to go mohawk or do we want to go like backwards facing frill? And 
kind of like the backwards. Feeling it should start around here. I don't think I'll even draw in the baseline. I'm just going to Should we kind of stop it like this? Oh, that looks a bit, a bit funky. Right, just like that is enough information, I feel. And then when I add in the color, this bit will be blocked off. Maybe, maybe these lines would be appropriate here. Kind of gives it a, a more defined shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, I almost forgot it, it needs a tail. I think we're gonna start it here. It's gonna flow this way. And then out somewhere over here. thinking about maybe that's what can fill up this awkward space on the side as a tail because uh, in the reference picture these guys have long tails so long like kind of eel like tails how does that look so it kind of goes whoop, whoop. We need more of a swoop on the top end to show the direction it's coming from. Yeah, so now it's clear it's swooping around like this. Just need to connect it to his bum. Oh, and the tail, of course, needs some more frills on it. We need more fins. Getting a bit fancy with our, you know, it's like a switchback. Little turn around there. Does the audio, does my microphone sound okay? Because that was kind of my main concern before I started streaming was that people could hear me in a way that it doesn't take, you know, is a struggle to understand. Um, if the audio is okay, then I can move on to more advanced things, get a little face cam or a little fun overlay, or actually get my monitors working. Yeah, see if I zoom in too much, then um, it's like the style completely changes if you draw zoomed in compared to if you draw it zoomed out. That's why the rest of these guys, I'm going to go have, I'm going to have to go back, and kind of mesh them all together. Like this guy, he's received the line thickening treatment. None of these guys have. This guy has a little, but it's obvious that these guys have. Uh, more sketchy, thinner lines, and the, the style doesn't match up whatsoever with this bunch. So they all need like a second pass of sketching. Now, I, I think my greatest failure with this Sahuagin is that he's a big buff dude, whereas this guy is a, a lanky, a lanky man. So, uh, oh, I'm glad the audio is good, thanks. So I think I'm going to have to do another one or two Sahu again in like different, different, different levels of protein overdose.
Plus, I'm feeling like a big crab claw. But how are we looking for time? It's 3.22, so I'm going to have to cut this off soon. Uh, the other option is I can just trim this guy down. Mostly it's your big old head, dude. It makes you look enormous. And the shoulder here. We're still in the drafting stage, so I don't mind completely, you know, going back over this guy. Like, does he even need that shoulder? Not sure. He does need his face to be turned in a direction. Let's forget the shoulder. You don't need that. So what needs to happen? Well, we can keep that. Like that. I kind of like the mouth being so symmetrical. It's kind of looks stylistic. We can, the eyeballs are enough to show which way he's slightly turned. Does that look, does that look right? Maybe not. Yeah, we'll come back to those. Maybe we need more crazy fish eyeballs. Could I squish him horizontally? That that does sound like the perfect solution, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much that solves a lot of our problems. Classic Sahua Queen. Sahua again. I kind of prefer the way I say it, but I'll, I'll reserve that for my own personal D&D games. I won't subject you to that strange language. It comes out my mouth. So there's just the slightest tweaks can make the eyes look completely different. So uh, I kind of messed these up. Well, I kind of lost what I originally had. Because I wasn't truly satisfied with it. But I'll come back for a round two on you. Don't kind of like a shadow here. Do we want those little feeling bits? Oh catfish beard. Or the, <laughs> the little bobbly goatee. Maybe the catfish beard, that was kind of cool. Yeah, we'll keep that for now. Yeah, I'm speaking a little soft, that's just because I wasn't born with a big voice. There's little I can do about that except to really kind of burn through my energy speaking loud. So that, unfortunately, you're going to have to live with. Some scales on the back, yeah. Uh, some gills. If we were to throw in scales, then we'd be overdoing We'd be overdoing it in the detail department. Scales will come with the color. Some, some gills would go amiss. I just want to maintain the same level of kind of detail, congestion as these guys. And we're kind of there. Does anyone know how large a Sahuagin is compared to a human being? Because this guy, this guy is pretty big. He's pretty reasonably big. Maybe it's, maybe it's right. I kind of like the idea of having big brutish shark men with like Sahuagin minions, smaller ones. The other thing I've noticed is this leg is throwing off the perspective. 
Yeah, I, th I think for the remaining four minutes I'm just going to fuss over these little things and then I'm going to take off. To anyone who joined recently, I got to take off at 3.30 p.m. my time, which happens in four minutes. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, those 18 people who are watching. I'm still working on getting the stream set up right. Still working on getting, I mean, I think the microphone's good enough for now. I might do another round of perfectionism on it. But uh, yeah, I've got the simple stream set up and from here I can just add complexity with some like a face cam, some overlays. I don't know. I'll have a look at other streams, see what they what they do. Is there anything you would all like to see in particular? Like maybe an over the shoulder camera so you can see my actual hand moving about the screen. That that seems pretty useful. Let's give him a bracelet. The pearl. No, that's too much. The elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got he's kinda got those restless shoulders, doesn't he? We need what we need. Instead of this big tricep what's that? It's not a tricep at all. This is a tricep. Instead of these big back muscles bulging out, and it's kind of a swoop like that. Yeah, you see how much of a difference that made. Now he's markedly less of a wrestler build, and we can even throw in some more fins going down his back. Maybe the fin would also be here. Yeah, I like that line. In fact, we could kind of throw all this into shadow. Because I do like to be generous with shadow. Average six feet in height. Okay, so like a a tall human. Thanks, Artemis. You've been very you've been a great help today. I think people have learnt more from you today than me, which I'm not complaining about. Thank you very much. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll set up my hotkeys and get Leonardo working right because I pretty much exclusively use Leonardo for making tokens. When I go to color them, I'll switch over to Photoshop. But I just really like the the line engine. I don't know, it's, it's nice software for dealing with line art. Okay, I think I've fussed, fussed over this guy enough. Am I missing his right arm? Should it be coming out like here? <laughs> He's got a small arm. Hmm. You know what, I'll, I'll take a break from looking at these and when I come back all of the problems with them will jump out at me. But I do like that little scallop shell. Is that a scallop shell? A clam shell? A little clamshell shoulder plate. I think that's adorable. Gives him some character. Maybe that's what he needs on this side is another shell coming up here. Nah. I'll figure that out. I'll figure that out at a later date. Still hate looking at this guy's face. That's bugging me out. And these guy's legs need something. But Hammerhead Shark, he's nice. He's got a he's a nice base to base the rest of them off. Maybe he'll get a bit smaller with time. I've got a bunch of other things I want to draw in this notepad next to me. I want to do like a hermit crab fella. Um, and I need to just browse through the monster manual and pick out a bunch of underwater beasties to do. Actual sharks, regular sharks, that sort of thing. So that you can have a proper Aquaman movie battle, if you're so pleased. Okay, it's now 3.31 everyone, so i got to take off. Uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for helping me figure out the software I'm using and the streaming setup I'm using. Um, 
this video will probably make it to the channel in the future if you missed the start of it. Um, and yeah, I, I should be streaming around about this time most weekdays, I'm kind of planning to do. Whenever I sit down to do a solid block of drawing, I'll switch on the streaming and see who's awake and uh, uh, who uh, has the time to watch. Um, they won't really be tutorials, they'll just be my train of thought. Yeah, I just uh, was flailing my arm about it and I unplugged the microphone, so maybe you can still hear me, maybe not. Yeah, it appears you can still hear me. But yeah, basically these streams will be a train of thought as I go about my drawing, uh, which you'll be able to learn a thing or two perhaps, though not as condensed as the actual tutorials I put on my channel. So keep your expectations reasonable and we'll all have a good time. But yeah, I'm off, so thanks for tuning in everyone. Thanks for all your comments to keep me company. Uh, seahorse is a good idea. And I'll talk to you again next time. Bye bye.